NATO allies are in summit mode, posing for pictures. Yet behind the hugs and the handshakes, they're hardening their defences against Russia in the biggest overhaul since the Cold War. But will it be enough to stop the very hot war in Ukraine from spreading? The head of the alliance certainly hopes so. President Putin's war against Ukraine has shattered peace in Europe and has created the biggest security crisis in Europe since the Second World War. It's prompted allies like US President Joe Biden and Britain's Boris Johnson to pledge more forces to defend NATO by land, sea, air, cyberspace and even outer space. They're helping Ukraine too. It's not a member of the alliance, but its wartime president addressed the summit, calling for more weapons, more cash and longer term help. NATO allies bolstered their defences following Russia's first invasion of Ukraine in 2014, but it wasn't enough. This time round, the response feels different, more credible, yet it's a huge test of resolve and security across the whole of Europe is at stake. And then there's the other big challenge, China. But not all allies agree on the scale of the problem. We don't look at China as a threat. We do believe that if there's a pragmatic and respect-based cooperation between the Western world and China, we can take a lot of benefits. Others inside this alliance will beg to differ. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Madrid.